How many in here guys have done pistol training of some sort with some company someplace? All right, cool. Excellent. So for you, for, for, for you guys, this might be a review. Um, this class brings a dynamic um, that traditional range style classes doesn't bring in. That's the close quarters environment. Um, in a traditional sense, your draw stroke is all about establishing contact with your weapon, right? Uh, firm contact first and foremost, that's your grip. And then some way of getting that barrel indexed, pointed at the thing you're trying to shoot. That make sense? All right. Um, it's, it's, it's an important uh, distinction because you can shoot from different positions uh, without going through a full draw stroke, all right? And if all you have in, in your mind is I have to go through you know, a two-step draw stroke or a three-step draw stroke or however many steps you've been taught, um, it may not be relevant to the situation that you're presented. All right. It is a matter of time and distance, both of which are a luxury. Okay. Um, and I just, so let's talk about just the ideal and then work our way back to the least ideal. Okay. In an ideal situation, you would establish a two-handed grip on your pistol. You'd come to some form of extension from your body. You'd require a full uh, sight pitcher. Um, you'd establish sight alignment, sight pitcher, and you'd press off your shots. Right. That works great for a projectile weapon when you have distance available to you, right? Um, and so a lot of times people go through that kind of classic presentation. So I'll go through that real quick and then we'll talk about what happens when things deteriorate in terms of that time and that distance allowed to you, right? So classic draw stroke, um, typically taught in three phases or three steps, the first of which is to establish the grip on your pistol, right? This grip right here is the most important grip you will ever have to establish, all right? After this, getting this joker into play, is a luxury. Okay, so um, every time you train, you get feedback in some format, and you should pay attention to that feedback. What happens during your shooting, while you're shooting, and when you're finished with your shooting. All right. So step one is going to clear a cover garment, whichever way you want to do that. Um, I prefer a two-handed rip method to get it way up out of the way. Um, although that's not the only technique. All right, other people will. Do something like that, okay? Find out what works best for you. Two and a rip is my, my deal. Uh, establish my firm one-handed grip. Ideally, I want to get my thumb, the web of my thumb at the top strap of that pistol, okay? And I'm just gonna clear, boom. You'll note, trigger finger is where? On the side of the trigger. Not just on the side. High. As high away from that, that trigger as I could possibly get it. All right. Um, I like to look index-wise. I like to look for the uh, the um, chamber. All right. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, that's step one. So if it was a one count, it would be one. Two is rotate in. All right. That rotation is just a drop of the elbow. Mm. That's all I'm doing. Is dropping the elbow. All right. It's important here uh, to maintain some an in, in index from an index perspective. I'm looking at the bottom of that grip, typically right around my rib cage. Guns classically tilted outboard. That's two. Three is establishment of my weak hand into a two-handed firing grip and bringing that gun to present on the target. All right, so as I'm pressing out, pressing out or lifting up, depending on what you prefer. All right, establishing sight alignment, sight picture, and then pressing off my shot if I need to at that point. Holstering is that draw stroke in reverse. 